hi pretties welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to the family easter is right around the corner and i'm super excited which is why in today's video we are going to be doing some easter baskets i am not currently a mom i'm actually an aunt of six beautiful and wonderful nieces and nephews so on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys everything that i bought them they range from the age two years old all the way up to 14 so i definitely got a lot of variety i have girls and boys so this will definitely be an interesting haul so if you guys want to see that just keep on watching if you guys could please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up also feel free to comment down below what you're going to be doing for easter i am beyond excited i think i got some great deals and i just can't wait to show you guys some of the places that i went for today's video include walgreens i got some amazing deals there that i will be sharing with you guys and the dollar store i absolutely love it there hey guys welcome back to another video and if you're new here welcome to my channel before we get started y'all already know what to do make sure to subscribe to my channel to join the family we got going on here we're growing we're glowing and this is just like a channel full of positive vibes if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what your easter plans are it is currently really really late it's about to be like one in the morning so it is currently easter sunday i know Patricia, your last minute, yes, um, last minute to a lot of things, but it's still not too late. So in today's video, I'm going to be making some Easter baskets. I'm going to be showing you guys first everything that I bought, so it's going to be kind of like an Easter haul, and then I'm going to be showing you guys how I prepared the actual baskets. I am making baskets for seven kids. I'm an aunt of seven beautiful and wonderful children. I have multiple ages, multiple genders, so I just have like a whole bunch of different stuff. I just finished recording a fill the eggs with me video. So in that video, you guys see me open up a whole bunch of candy and I put them in the eggs. You know, it was kind of like a chit chat with me for an Easter egg hunt that I'm going to be doing today as well. So I already filmed that and did that, but I have my bag here full of candy and some of them are all open, but like I said, it's because I already opened the original bags to fill up those eggs, and I put those eggs somewhere else already. I probably should have just left them here so that they could be on display. They're the cutest little eggs. I mean, check out that video if you guys want to see how it ended up looking, but I did want to just, you know, throw that out there just in case you guys see all my open candy no this is not like halloween candy or candy from somebody else this is brand new candy i brought the candy because i'm going to be filling the baskets with some candy but let's go ahead and get started because i don't want to make this video too long and i have a lot of things to show y'all i'm gonna start off with this bag right here as you guys can tell from you know the bag i got this at walgreens i got so many things from walgreens this year oh my gosh lately i've been going there for a lot of my needs i mean i did a hygiene haul from there which i definitely recommend you check it out because i got these amazing deals from there and the quality of their stuff is actually super super good so make sure you check that out as well as if you're shopping for easter they had some insane deals there this year like insane i mean cheaper than the dollar store cheaper than walmart and i know how to bargain and especially when you're trying to gift seven kids different items you definitely want to go to some places that can save you a little bit of money you know i can't just be spending 30 dollars per kid because it's not just 30 dollars now it's 30 times 7 i'm spending 200 300 on these kids and surprisingly walgreens was it this year so i just want to give like a little shout out to them this is not sponsored or anything but holy cow was their deals this year i'm talking crazy so let's go ahead and just get into it but make sure you check out all those videos hygiene hauls everything they just have been having a lot of promotions for different stuff so i highly recommend that you check them out yes they have pricey stuff every company's gonna have pricey stuff there's pricey stuff at Publix. there's pricey stuff at target but when you find those deals you gotta snatch them because ciao <laughs> all right so first thing i got well the first thing i got honestly was these two baskets they're kind of stuck together oh my gosh what is going on all right so i got this little yellow basket it's like this and i thought it would just be multi-use because they can also use it to go get their easter eggs now they had a whole bunch when i originally got this i got this about a week ago so i was still a little early i wasn't super late when i went in shopping um for my easter stuff but i only picked up two for some reason the pink one and the yellow one i don't know what i was thinking y'all i don't know what i was thinking i have seven kids seven kids and i picked up two baskets 
okay? Anyways, um, I got this yellow one, and I also got this pink one. Now, like I said, I do have seven kids. Um, well, I'm an aunt to seven kids, but each of them are like in their little group. So, for example, like I'm an aunt to three kids from the same family, two kids from the same family, one kid from another family. So it's just kind of like divided into that. So I think at first my mentality was kind of like I'll just get three baskets because it's three families, and I'll just give one basket per family instead of having to give six or seven baskets per kid but reality is i started thinking about it and i was just like kids want what's theirs like they see something and they just think it's theirs they're gonna start fighting if it's all in one basket because they're just gonna think that oh it's mine it's mine it's mine nothing is divided they're not gonna know and i just thought it would just be so much of a mess so i then went to walmart and got these baskets here which are 98 cents now i got three of these so for the first family which i think i'm closest with them definitely because i see them more so for them they have three kids so i got the same basket same color same everything because they're different ages so they tend to fight a lot more because they're a little older they're a little older so they tend to fight a little bit more so i got like the same exact basket color everything just to avoid any fights and then the yellow basket i thought would be for family number two and then the pink one would be for family number three family number three is just one little girl she's super cute super sweet so this is gonna be for her and then that one over there is going to be for the second family which actually has two kids but they're kind of similar in age and they're still really little so they didn't really need their own basket so i that's kind of like how i divided it now some of the stuff i got were these chocolate covered marshmallow eggs my grandma told me about this she called me all the way from puerto rico because if you don't know i'm puerto rican my whole family kind of like lives over there i'm only here really with my mom and my grandma told me about some chocolate covered eggs and she hyped this up so much she was like we sold out in puerto rico i wish i could just have some if you ever found any can you please send them to puerto rico and i was like yeah sure i got you but i never really had heard of it so i was like mm, okay if i see it i see it but i wasn't sure when I walk into Walgreens, I see like a 99 cent section. I go there and these are there. And like this is a pretty big box. I mean, this with a bow on it, you can honestly just give to somebody. This is a cute gift. But I just thought this would be the cutest little stuffer. These are the ones my grandma got. So I was trying to ship them to her, but then she ended up telling me to keep them and she'll have them when she comes down from Puerto Rico. So I thought it would be better because it's kind of hard to send food. But anyways this was so cute chocolate covered eggs and i just thought three of them because i can give one per family because like i said it's a lot of eggs in here okay so well, that's basically just how they look it's the same thing literally and it was only 99 cents guys so crazy and you can tell that these are probably gonna be super yummy especially after what my grandma said i was like wow i really scored big here because I went to Walgreens just yesterday and they didn't have any more. So I probably should have gotten a little bit more because like I said, if you're not really close with somebody or just for a neighbor, you can give this to them with a little bow on it and call it a day. But I thought this would be a cute little stocking stuffer or not a stocking stuffer, but a basket stuffer. So I got those. And here is majority of the candy. I can already tell this video is going to be long. I got so many things. So I'll probably separate it into a part one, the Easter egg haul. And then I'll probably do a part two is how I fill the baskets. I got this right here. Now, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you know Easter is the day that Jesus rose. So I wanted to incorporate that into the little baskets, even though they're young. They're very educated. They all go to church and everything. So I thought this one was really cute. It says, may his light shine upon you. Then it says, happy Easter. When you open it, I thought it was so, so cute. These were 99 cents, but it was like buy one, get one 50% off. So it was like 75 cents, and I just thought it was absolutely adorable. They also had this other design right here. If you guys can kind of see it. It says, rejoice in the wonder of the day, and then happy Easter in there as well. And I thought that was cute, especially like for the older kids, because the other one is very colorful. I think it's more like for girls. So this was for my boys and for the older kids. I thought it was really, really pretty as well. Then I found this Pure Mobile UV Sterilizer with Suction. 
it's for your phone and especially for my older kids who have a phone i thought this would be good especially with the times that we're living in right now now this was actually on sale at walgreens this is like 25 dollars usually and i got it for like not even two three dollars so i got two of them which were the last two and i think i scored such a big deal on it because it's a cute little basket stuffer i mean it's like an actual toys not just candy a lot of times i love to fill baskets with candy because i think of easter and i'm like sweets chocolate all this bad stuff for you so i thought this was so i thought this would be good because i don't want to be the unhealthy aunt this year i want to be like i want to upgrade then i also got them some bubbles i think these are so cute this was 79 cents at walgreens and i got like a pink one and i believe a blue one yep um, I didn't get seven of each thing that I bought. I only got like two or three of each thing because like I said, bubbles I can use for about three of the children, but the other three I can't use it for them because they're too little. So I only got duplicates of like very limited stuff. This is another UV sterilizer, like I said. These are going to be for my two oldest kids because they're the ones who have a phone. I did get four bubbles in total, two blue, and I got two pink, I believe. Yeah, two pink because i got four little kids the rest are older i got these little stickers which is i don't know what this is but i know that one of my older boys like this stuff and it was on sale at walgreens so i was like why not it's a cute little basket stuffer i think it's like stickers i'm not sure let me take off the price i don't know what it is but they'll know what it is like i said i just got like a whole bunch of these i don't you know <laughs> I got one for each kid, so I did get like seven of these. Let me do a thumbnail. And then I got the cutest little Easter bunnies. Look how cute these are. They're actually like a bunny. And it was not even like a dollar. And like I said, they had that deal going on. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I did get four of those. I think these are really, really cute, especially to put inside of a basket. They're like easter theme they're easter bunny theme so i thought that was nice oh my gosh this one came completely crushed no poor bunny i'll eat you later no i'm kidding <laughs> so then i got some eggs the reason i got these eggs is because my two youngest kids they can't really be eating that bunny so i thought this would make like a better fit i also figured that if i did little eggs myself and put eggs inside the baskets this was before i found out how much i actually bought because there's no way all this is going to fit in the baskets but i thought if i had extra space in the baskets i would just fill it up with those plastic eggs and put candy inside so i was like oh these i can put inside the eggs and yeah but this is all just extra i also got some chalk this was a dollar at the dollar store i did go to various places so i know you guys are like wait what about walgreens wait what about this store i went to the dollar store i went to walgreens i went to walmart i was looking for deals like i said when you have seven kids you can't afford to just be buying 30 40 dollars here and there no you have to be like really finding yourself some deals or sales if you're not balling like that if you are balling like that like if you have money like that then okay but at least in my case scenario i don't have money like that so i can't just be spending 40 50 dollars on each kid i really have to go find my deals and i did and they're good quality items matter of fact they're the same items you would probably buy at full price and thankfully i was just able to find it on sale this chalk i just thought was super super nice i don't know who i'm gonna give it to i only bought one i was actually thinking of keeping this myself because when the kids come over they always want to play chalk and i never have chalk here they all have chalk in their house but i'm not sure it doesn't come individually wrapped so it's kind of just like give them the box or not so we'll see what i do with this next thing i got this bag is actually from the dollar store i got luna obviously a little toy you know she deserves an easter toy actually i already got her another toy it's actually sitting in my room but i just don't feel like getting up guys i'm so tired it's two in the morning i'm over it but i got her another little toy i got her two toys and they're just so so cute i also got this little bunny here i don't know it looks a little melted this little bunny right here i thought it was cute um it was a little switch up from these because vlogmas didn't have enough of these so that's why i got the other one i got these two little easter cards this one says happy easter when you open it it says may your easter shine with all things bright and beautiful 
So I got that little Easter card. And I also got this little Easter card. And it says Easter Tweetings. And when you open it, it says sending you extra love this Easter. I thought that was really, really cute as well. Originally, I was thinking of giving this to the parents. Like each parent get a card. And putting like a picture of me and the kid in it. But like I said, it is Easter already. So I don't even know if I'm going to have time to go and get these pictures printed like what i originally wanted to do because i ran out of time and like i know you guys are probably like how irresponsible though. but like honestly guys i work three jobs i'm in school and i just wanted to do these baskets for the kids because i love them but i'm really trying to put a lot of thought into it it's just kind of like all piling down on the same day same time and i'm just like how do i split myself in seven different ways so we'll see what i can get done there i'll probably get it done i always get it done but Anyways, um, next thing I got was this little phone stand. This is cute, but none of the girls that are older and have a phone need this because they already have one. So I actually got this for myself. I actually saw them using one and I was like, hmm, I need one for my boy, which is this big Sports Illustrated Kids 3D book. The reason I got this is because he loves to read. I mean, all three kids from the first family love to read, okay? And I love that about them because as a kid, I didn't really read a lot and then I struggled a lot in school. So I really want to emphasize on the fact that they enjoy reading and go ahead and reward them with books. I reward them with books all the time, constantly for birthdays, Christmas. It's always like a book and something else because I know like who wants to get a book for Christmas. But I always give them something extra. This one I thought was really cute because it wasn't necessarily so much of a book as it is like photos and cool stuff. And he likes stuff like this. He likes the football and he likes to see big pictures and big books and read it at night. So I love the fact that I was able to find this. I absolutely love this and this is completely him and I'm so excited to give this to him. Next thing I got was for my one little girl. She wants to be a doctor and her mom is studying to be like a therapist, something like that. So I went ahead and got her like a little doctor kid just so she can play. All my girls have a whole bunch of toys. All of them have so many toys. I mean, beyond, beyond. But I still want to give them a little something because, you know, as a kid, you don't really just want candy or you don't really just want a book. You, you kind of want a toy. So I got this for one of the little girls and then... I also got this for one of my other little girls who loves to paint and draw and do little like arts and crafts. So you can actually paint this and this is the LOL Surprise Doll. That is her obsession. I mean, my other little girl doesn't really like LOL Surprise Doll, but Scarlett, I know you guys have heard me talk about her. Scarlett, I would say definitely is the one who I spend the most time with. And Scarlett has two older siblings, which are the ones who are my oldest kids actually because none of the other kids are as old as them but definitely Scarlett like I said she's practically I mean a daughter to me I love her so so much I've been with her for the longest like I've been taking care of her a while now and I love it like I love being her aunt it's just so much fun but I know her obsessions and her loves and her likes and everything and she has an obsession with a little surprise doll so when I saw this I was like okay and it was just crazy because it was at the dollar store so you wouldn't think that it would be at the dollar store there's some great finds at the dollar store so make sure you check that out and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and complete the video simply because I don't want to make it too, too long. So I'm going to go ahead and do another video right now on how I'm going to package all these things. So stay in tune. Literally, you guys can go ahead and click part two right now. But I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful Easter and let me know how it goes. Thank you guys all for your love and support always. And I'll see you soon. Bye.